So I wanted to just pop in real quick and, and say one more thing about as a follow up to the video I did earlier when I was talking about self awareness, curiosity, and self compassion as some really critical uh, elements in the healing process. That those are three ways of being and three practices that um, are healing in of themselves, but also when you find yourself utilizing them, it's it speaks it speaks to kind of kind of your evolution of your of your journey of your healing journey when you you know catch yourself playing out a dysfunctional habit and instead of beating yourself up over it you actually stop pause take a little bit of time to identify what the need was behind it and then soothe your nervous system a little bit around it and kind of pep talk yourself about how you're going to do things differently the next time when you start to realize that you're doing that instead of beating yourself up a pretty good indication that you're you're some of that stuff all some of the self-healing stuff that you're picking up on TikTok is actually sticking but what I wanted to add to this is recognize that we all are carrying around core beliefs now these beliefs aren't our beliefs are my, my conscious right here as a you know 45 year old woman beliefs until I actually consciously choose the beliefs that I want to have about myself and about the world it's safe to assume that the core beliefs that you're carrying around are the beliefs that you picked up subconsciously from your family of origin, from the world that was happening around you when you were younger. And nine times out of 10, those beliefs are kind of not awesome. They are the opposite of awesome. So it's pretty s simple to figure out what your core beliefs are. Look at the habits that you have and there you go. If you have a habit of always talking badly about yourself and always, you know, assuming the worst about yourself and of beating yourself up all the time, if that's a habit that you observe in yourself, chances are you're carrying around a core belief that says that's what you're worthy of. That's what you deserve. That's what you get. It's because our habits, our habits are the indicators of the beliefs right whatever we do over and over and over and over and over again that's the tell okay that's the tell so once you realize whoa these are the beliefs i've got first of all don't waste time beating yourself up because you have these beliefs they were implanted in you this was a wiring thing that happened you were powerless over it but remember that the same power that was made it possible for you to get wired in a certain way so that you could survive that gnarly childhood is the exact same power that can help you change your beliefs and actually create the beliefs that make you feel good. And that's your right.